Hello Taurus and welcome to your daily energy update. Let's go ahead and see what messages there are for you today. Hope you're having a great day or evening wherever you are Taurus. Alright, let's have a look what messages your angels and spirit guides have for you today. The spirit, unseen forces watch over you. Ain't that the truth? That is for sure, Taurus. You're protected and very well taken care of by your guides and your angels. Darkness looms over the horizon. So no matter what the negative situations might be, you are always watched over. Follow your intuition. So no matter what this situation is that you might be going through right now, follow your intuition. Okay, so there may be some challenges happening in your life right now, Taurus. Your angels and your guides want you to know that you are well cared for, you are looked after, and there is nothing that can actually harm you unless you give it the power to. With the raven, it is kind of like something that is in the background happening in your life. Too many bills to pay, you know, not enough time, a heartache, disappointment in love. With somebody that had a lot of energy and a lot of force, this person was a very um, strong energy in your life. Almost like you could not deny the connection between you and them okay it's almost like they overpowered your energy however your guides want you to know that through this experience you have been well cared for okay and guided towards the eight of cups which means that perhaps you are feeling heartbroken let down confused you know um disappointed in someone's behavior someone's choices thinking why did they do this why is this happening however your guides and your angels say it's time to move on the thing with the eight of cups is that we're not leaving forever there is always the option to turn around and to go back it is temporary because the cups are all still upright it's kind of like somebody moving away in order to think I need some time on my own to think and then I'll come back when I feel ready when I feel that I've come up with some some ideas some conclusions okay follow your intuition this could be regarding your children if you have children taking care of your children you know like follow your intuition some of you have psychic kids um, very in tune with the other side with their angels with their guides I know my children are very psychic in their own right they come up to me with a lot of questions about the other side and what they're feeling um, because they know my work and so they feel that they can talk to me so it's always leaving that door and gateway open with your kids or with your niece or nephew or grandkids whatever your situation may be you know and allowing them to come to you to talk about their experiences so that they know that they're safe and there's nothing really that can harm them Alternatively, the Six of Cups is also a soulmate connection. Follow your intuition in regards to a powerful soulmate connection. It may be the same person. However, I really strongly feel that this is somebody different in your experience right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Lenormand and look further into this and tell you what the disappointment in love is. Okay, some of you may have been working on something outside of a relationship or this could be vice versa or just the both of you, you know, doing things like work, um, taking care of the house, paying rent or mortgage, you know, just doing your thing in life. Okay, with the magician, like I'm working on stuff, I'm doing my own thing. And in the meantime, a disappointment in love. It's like work or, you know, your time away from this connection has come in the way of the two of you. 
you know what you guys and your angels are actually guiding you here they're saying Taurus there is something else here for you there is something else that we want to guide you towards which is actually this follow your intuition listen to your heart I mean like I know it's a song but honestly listen to your heart if someone's guides came through and said it's so important because um, whoever I'm talking to you are very very in tune okay comment below and let me know is this you somebody watching this is very very psychic in their own right and it's like you really feel your angels and your guides and the messages that are coming through you really feel it because you've been you've been ha it's, somebody has been having lifelong dreams and sometimes they come back it's almost like the dream continues or you have the same dream like on repeat or it's almost like you're having a dream and you're walking through and you're conscious that it's a dream and you're conscious of yourself as opposed to when it's a dream it's like a movie playing out and you're just like watching you know and there's people with no faces or there's you know it's sometimes it's black and white or sometimes it's color comment below do you dream in color or some people don't even dream some people have really vivid colors in their dreams let me know i'm really interested but for the person that I'm talking to, um, you guys are coming through and saying that your dreams are actually, it's almost like there is something that is being said to you in these dreams. And sometimes you can make it out, but then you forget when you wake up. They want you to know that it's okay if you forget this because the messages are like downloads or actually they're downloads they're kind of like downloads that are going to filter down into your heart and that is when you you follow your heart and then you kind of are being led down a certain path in your life and that's why this card is coming through saying follow your intuition because that is the message that whoever this message this reading is for it could be for many of you, all of you, or some of you, or only a few of you. It's really saying that even though it may seem that it's darkness, or it could even be a dark period, a dark night of the soul for some of you. I mean, Pisces in um, in this full moon was really powerful. I know I was zapped for like a few days there. And, you know, you may have noticed some readings, you know, lacking from my channel because I literally could not I was just so drained and it was like no I'm not going to do this right now because I'm just feeling this moon it's just too much it's overwhelming and sometimes it is like that during this time of when the full moon is that powerful it's really important to stay under the radar down low and be peaceful and quiet go within take care of yourselves Taurus and just just be nurturing you know like cocoon yourself be soft and gentle and kind to yourself and others around you because you know it it just avoids any dramas you know like with mercury retrograde when things start going haywire which we're coming up to now so that's why I'm saying for those of you who feel this energy of the raven it's really important to sort of like just stay peaceful quiet say thank you to the universe show a lot of gratitude so that good things continue to happen around you don't start any new projects don't start a new business or sign a contract you know and if you already have oh well okay so be it but you know the the advice is usually during Mercury retrograde, don't start new relationships or don't break up any relationships, you know, because anything that you do during that time is temporary. It's always going to be temporary because after Mercury retrograde, it's all going to go back to normal. You know, it's like um, I knew someone once that was freaking out because 
during Mercury Retro, they were about to sign a lease and they were having all sorts of issues getting to the um, to the place that they wanted to sign the lease to. They were having all sorts of transport issues. They were having financial issues with the bank. You know, money wasn't being deposited from work the night before where it was always deposited by lunchtime and then the money just didn't come until the next day and it was coming to the point where they really needed it for their bond. They really needed to get to the place because the real estate were like, well, we're just going to give it to somebody else if you can't make it to sign the lease. And, you know, this person was really freaking out, thinking, what is going on here? I'm doing, it was like a bad dream. And then finally she got there and finally she signed the lease and the money got into her bank right in the nick of time. So even though it seems like drama, drama, drama all the way, when it comes to the crunch, it's all going to work out. So don't believe the nightmare during Mercury Retro, especially when it's a, a big moon like this recent moon where the energy was just drained. I had people having headaches around me where normally they don't get headaches and this is like migraines and I'm like what is going on this is so unusual I had friends that were having these crazy muscle cramps coming up to the full moon and then at the full moon it was like debilitating and they were like I don't get what's going on and the doctor gave them the all clear there's nothing wrong with you it's the moon literally it's doing it to everyone so comment below and let me know what is the moon doing to you and were you going through any weird vibes that normally don't happen mercury retro is kind of the same but not quite okay because you can bet that any kind of drama that happens during mercury retro is going to undo itself it's like a maze you know you get at Mercury Retro or a week before some people a few weeks beforehand that it's like walking into a maze and anything you try to do is like 10 times harder because of malfunctions with technology malfunctions with money transport you know lots of things start going haywire but in the end, where it really, really counts, it all works out in the end. So don't stress out, Taurus, with this darkness looms on the horizon. It's, it's fake. It's not real. That's why the guiding light is saying, follow your intuition. Everything is going to be okay. All right, especially if it is a soulmate connection around you. You may have had a temporary hitch for some of you. And you may have just had a little tear for disagreement or a moment of crazy and you know it's all going to work out in the end it might just be a moment of detachment saying I just need to think because I just need to get away from all these vibes you know in your guides are saying follow intuition listen to your heart listen to the downloads they're 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 in your heart like that's where you access spirit that's where you access the messages and that's what they're saying all right let's have a look that's the feminine if you are the feminine this is you and your beautiful self if you are the masculine this is your lovely lady okay let's have a look the detachment to heal that's very much so what your guides and angels are saying to move on to heal okay move on to heal your soul best way to do that is have yourself a shower it's the quickest I tell my clients the same thing go have yourself a shower let the water run stand beside a stream if you have a stream running water is the most purest form of light I mean that's some someone's guides are saying that I'm just following their dictation um, so purest form of energy in my words so for me I always go there you know even if I go and I finish doing a Reiki session I wash my hands under running tap and I just keep my hands flowing under the tap for like a few minutes just a trickle doesn't have to be blasting to you know waste the water just a trickle just to let the water go around my fingers and my hands and then I do the choku ray symbol to cleanse my energy and it it just feels so much better and it releases all that energy that you know i just sort of 
did the healing, channeled the Reiki. So, you know, it's the same for our body. You know, the words choku, ray are so powerful. It cleanses energy, transmutes your energy, Taurus, through this. This this card here, it's really affecting me and your guides have a lot to say about it and I'm not sure why. But, you know, maybe some of you are going through a, a moment of darkness and that's okay. It's okay. Remember what I just said about Mercury Retro? This moment of darkness is an illusion. It's not real. I guess that is the best thing, best way to put this full moon in Pisces because Pisces is all about Neptune, the dreams, the illusion. It's not real. Not that Pisces are not real. No, they're the most beautiful, caring, loving people um, in my experience anyway. But I'm just saying, you know, the Neptune planet, um, which is really surprising. I was expecting this this full moon to be a lot more about astral travel and, and vivid dreams, which some of us are having. But but, you know, I wasn't expecting the energy zap and I wasn't expecting all the my friends to be telling me about their headaches and all that. I definitely wasn't expecting that, but it did happen. So some of us are affected in different ways. OK, so this is all about healing. OK, moving on and healing, spending a few moments um, or a few days just cocooning yourself and doing a lot of self-love and care empress energy comes comes through I'm, I'm visiting um, the empress so you guys are saying let the empress energy permeate you and just do a lot of self-care and move on from whatever is not making you feel good at this time now we have talked about it you may be communicating with a soulmate it's a strong powerful energy when you look into their eyes there's something about them that feels like home okay I know I hit the spot with that one with some of you let me know if that's your story because your guides are coming through saying that when you look into their eyes there's something about them that you just can't tear yourself away from you could look at their photo or while they're talking to you and get lost in their face and it's like I know this person I just can't place it or your soul is telling you there's something special about them a special connection between the two of you and you just don't know what it is that is a soul to soul connection it's an intense almost like you're in love with them but you don't know why there's something about them that makes you feel really a powerful pull like a magnet and it's like your eyes just want to explore their their eyes there's like worlds upon worlds and galaxies in their eyes because you just don't know why this amazing connection is within this one amazing person this human that maybe you don't even know or you met for the first time or you you're chatting with them or whatever the situation is, there's something magical about them that makes you want to get to know them better. And this is what I'm feeling here with this um, the seer for you, uh, Taurus. And with the Six of Cups, that soul-to-soul -soul connection, it's very, very strong. It's coming through very powerfully um, for me, for some of you. So let me know if this is your reading because I'm interested. Your messages came through very powerfully and your angels and guides did as well. And I appreciate that because I love it when they do come through with messages for you. All right, Taurus, I'll leave it there. Otherwise, I'll keep going forever with these messages. <laughs> and um, as always, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed today's reading. Stay tuned because a little later I'll be doing your daily reading. And as always, again, <laughs> I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.